Hey folks, Arizona guy here. It is May 12th, 2022. The Biden-Harris America. So, how's everybody doing today? Phoenix, Arizona, it is 93 degrees right now. It is getting rather hot. So, I don't know if you guys seen this or not, but Mike Pence, the illustrious ex-vice president, is truly such a rhino that he is going against Trump and he's campaigning with Brian Kemp, the no good rhino governor from Georgia. investigate anything from 2020. It is utterly appalling. So any of you that had any doubts about Mike Pence being a rhino or being part of the deep state, well, now you know. Campaigning with Brian Kemp from Georgia, the man is a no good hypocrite period anyway folks I want to talk about something different today so how many of you believe in either evolution or the big bang theory Personally, myself, I don't believe in either one of them. I think they're just theories. Anybody can have a theory. Theories are basically meaningless because theories are never proved. They're just a theory. So I don't believe that two molecules or two atoms or two electrons or whatever you want to call them before time these two atoms whatever they were were just flicking around in outer space going millions of miles an hour and then they collided hence the big bang so the Big Bang created everything in the universe. Before the universe was created, all you had was these two atoms, molecules, whatever you had, just traveling around at supersonic speeds. That's all there was. Then after the two things collided, poof, everything is created, the earth, the moon, the sun, it's a crazy theory, because now they have found probably about 40 earth-like planets that are actually, 24 of them are actually more inhabitable than the earth meaning that these 24 planets would have better habitats for life than earth does science scientists are finding this out so I'm not a big believer in the Big Bang Theory because did the Big Bang create all the dirt that's upon the earth they want to say that the earth in the beginning was this molten ball of iron and then it, when it cooled off it created lava flows and the lava flows erupted in ash falling down from the sky 
the ash created the dirt that's on earth and then the dust from the volcano the lava created the soil the sand and everything we see today I don't know folks did it create the oceans did it create the aquifers did it create everything on planet earth did it create the trees and the plants I don't know folks it's really really bizarre that some people would actually believe this big bang theory and then primitive people oh primitive people were basically apes and the apes evolved into modern day humans no folks I don't believe that that story is true at all I don't know what really happened no one does but I don't believe the big bang theory can answer all of our questions But I'd really like to hear what you guys think. I'd like to hear some of your ideas and some of your theories. Because I really find the subject interesting. If you go back and you look at certain ancient documents, there's actually written transcripts of what life on Earth was like before the moon people lived in complete and utter darkness because there was no moon so you only had light from the sun during the day so nighttime was really really dark there weren't any street lights and such so life before the moon was really really difficult and then all of a sudden one day there was light at night the moon just haphazardly showed up and started providing light to the darkness so it's really bizarre folks and if you want to believe that God did create the earth and the moon and the sun and so, then you have to ask yourself, okay, so, God himself was created during the Big Bang. So, you have to ask, what is God? Who is God? Is God this large, spiritual being that knows all and sees all? Or is he a man? See a man like myself that just is ageless and just lives for all eternity and he travels around in some kind of a craft and he is like a watcher he watches everything he sees what's going on and did he go and drag the moon into place so the earth could have light at night don't know online yesterday from the lunar rover that's on Mars and it appears that they have found what looks like a laser cut doorway on Mars this laser cut doorway is on some kind of a mountain on Mars so are we the actual Martians? Did, did our predecessors, other humans, actually live on Mars? 
and Mars went through some kind of a, say, global warming phase where they had to leave planet Mars and Earth was the next best habitable planet that they arrived to. There's another theory that we are the aliens, you know, because our ancestors were humans from Mars.